What's My Line? Brought to you by Phillips Milk of Magnesia, the gentle laxative for the whole family, regular or mint flavor. And now, let's all play What's My Line? We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, this picture of our program, with which all of you are familiar, and of course it requires blindfolds on our panel. Are the blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Will you enter Mystery Challenger and sign in, please? Remember, of course, panel, one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin things with um, Susie Nickerbock. Are you in show business? Yes. Mr. Randall? <laughs> I had an unusual experience. I'm not used to sitting down at this end, and as our mystery guest walked on, I got a whiff of remarkable perfume. <laughs> so I assume that you are a beautiful woman. Yes. <laughs> Arlene? Are you represented on Broadway now in a picture? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Ferrer. Are you filming in New York, actually? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Knickerbocker. Are you... Are you known primarily for being a motion picture actress? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Randall. Your voice sounds extremely young. It, do you have very short hair? Yes. <laughs> Miss Branson? Are you appearing at the present time in the Broadway theater? No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Ferrer. Are you Twiggy? What do you mean? Five down and five to go, Susie. Are you a singer? Yes. Mr. Randall. A short-haired singer. Is there more than one person there? Yes. Uh -oh. oh. Miss Francis? Well, is it the Supremes? Yes! Yeah. And Mary Wilson and Diana Ross, the Supremes, described in Variety, which knows so much about show business, and I don't know too much about it, as the greatest industry to hit Detroit since Henry Ford's Model T, <laughs> which is a wonderful <laughs> The thing is, you got hung up, I guess, hanged up, or whatever the current <laughs> phrase is, on the movie. Uh, but it really did sound like only one person answering. Yeah. Yes, it did. Four. Actually, Mary, Mary and Florence were going back and forth oh, for a while. I wasn't going to answer Ms. at all. Yeah, you know, Ms. Diamond. I'm sorry. I said, you got to answer. That, 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 helps. that voice helped a good deal. You can tell the difference. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm smaller, <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. Now, you, you're at uh, Copacabana now. Right. Here because in the Wednesday. Room. And where are you going then? Well, I'm, our schedule goes to Washington, the Shore Motel. From there to... Uh, Coconut Grove in California, from there Flamingo. And we're never going back home again. <laughs> You're never going back home again, like I said, for Detroit. Will you get back to Detroit yes. before too long? Well, thanks for giving us Thank a you. Sunday night, because I know you have a long and tough schedule. Well,